So hello guys and welcome here again to a new video and today we are going to talk about Manta and the ongoing adverb. Today we have a few looks at different steps that you can currently do to actually increase your chances of receiving the adverb in the future and most steps I'm going to actually do in this video since I myself didn't participate yet in the Manta network. So. Without further ado, if that sounds something you would like to watch, well, I definitely would recommend you leaving a like and also commenting down below if you already did deposit some ETH onto Manta or if you want to participate in general and also subscribe to stay up to date regarding other airdrops. So, without further ado, there's currently, I think, a few things that you can do. One thing of this is you can actually deposit some Ethereum. I'm not sure if there is a certain amount that you need to deposit to receive NFTs, but if you deposit, you will get portions of NFTs. With those NFTs, you can then craft a box. And if you crafted the box, I think you need around 25 pieces, you then can make a box and open it and later that will be exchangeable for Manta tokens. The sad part is you need to be doing this from Ethereum directly. I don't know if bridges like Orbiter will count towards it, but I just don't have any funds on Ethereum, but I'm going to do a few other steps, which is simply being a bit active on the network if itself. And we are going to bridge over some funds actually from Arbitron. And yeah, that is the first step that actually we need to do uh, because yeah, if we don't have any funds on the network, we cannot do any transactions. Why am I using Orbiter? Well, I'm using Orbiter since it is one airdrop that is also going on and also it is, uh, I don't know, the only bridge that currently supports Manta besides their main bridge where you will see a few mainnet onto Manta. But yeah, can also deposit other tokens as you see over here as long as it's on the ERC and the network but yeah that's sadly not something that we are going to do in this video we are rather going to uh, yeah, first of all i think i need to actually uh, put a network onto my metamask because we don't have it and the best thing to do is simply uh, try to do a transaction with manta on orbiter for example and then you will see ah i don't have the RPC yet in our MetaMask, we approve it and then they ask you to switch it. And if you switch over onto Manta, you then can start exploring stuff that is around. And we are going to do two different things currently. Um, that is Apertures, Apertures, I'm not really sure how you would pronounce it, but that is one thing that we are going to do. And for that, we need to actually connect our MetaMask. And then again, it's fairly simple how it's working it is yeah we just exchange uh, let's go ahead and put that amount in should be around 35 bucks of usdc we do the transaction 66 uh, cents in gas fees after we have done the swap it's fairly simple we're just going to do an additional swap uh, but this time we just swap our usdc for ethereum so with that we are going to actually approve and then we are going to do our swap and yeah good thing that somehow they swapped the old amount and not the new amount uh, so we only swapped 0 0.1 eve instead of 0 0.2 eve for some reason but yeah i guess that's just how it is uh, i think it was a bit too fast when i pressed on to the swap thing but yeah, if you've done those transactions already, that's a good thing that you do. Do this once every week, I would say, uh, for a few weeks ongoing, and then I think your chances of receiving the adobe is already very high. What you can do next, obviously, is deposit some liquidity, which I'm not going to do yet. I might do it uh, later when I actually deposit funds over from Ethereum or something, when the network is a bit more... Uh, calm and the gas fees are not that expensive then I'm definitely going to put some over from here and then we also have layer bank where we can do some swaps which no never mind we cannot actually do swaps my bad it is listed here as depositing over on the board of Costco uh, so I think it actually was default well 
then I think it is only the bank that is working and yeah it's only the bank that is working yet so you could for example supply some ethereum and now let's actually do uh, wait it's one zero yeah it's one zero yeah like this we're just going to do it this that's eight bacaronis we then receive obviously again um some rewards for supplying on the layer bank net uh, Mm. They work network, but on the layer bank protocol. There we go. Our balance is supplied. Now we just pretty much let it sit here for a few days. And I guess if you want, you then can also just withdraw it at some point and then you would be good. So pretty much, I think that's all for now um, regarding the new Peregrine. I will try um, to do a video again if we are doing it and once I have a bit more update and see myself how it's actually working regarding receiving the NFTs and so on. But yeah, obviously, that was it. Uh, yeah, until the next time. Bye-bye.